guys, it's Deb. Welcome to another Sims 4 house building video. The name of this house is Modern Splendor. And I did build this house on a 20 by 30 lot. So it is just a little bit smaller than most of the other homes that I've built in The Sims 4. But that just means that it will be a little bit less expensive for your Sims to purchase if you should decide to download this house. And even though I did build it on a 20 by 30 lot, I do still think that this house has plenty of room for your Sims. This house actually has two bedrooms. It has three bathrooms. It has a sunken living room. It has a music room. It has a study and it has an outdoor pool. And the downstairs area of this particular house is built with an open concept floor plan which I really like because I think that it makes it flow so much better when you are actually playing the game. And on the exterior of this home, I decided to use uh, that rustic stone wallpaper because I had never used it before. And I actually think that it gave it a really modern rustic look that I really liked in the end. I wasn't really sure about it at first, but when the house was completely finished, I decided I really liked it a lot. And I hope you all like it as well. And as you can see, I have uh, used a combination of half gable, gable roofs and flat roofs to build this particular home. And you can also see that I did put a balcony on the second floor. And on that balcony, I have put skill building items such as the easel. Um, I've put the workbench and I've put the chest set so your sims can build their skills up there uh, for their job or just for their general enjoyment. And here I had a little bit of trouble putting this uh, pool on this porch and the reason that it would not place is because of the stairs. So to get around that I just deleted that staircase, put the fountain where I wanted it to be and then I put the staircase back. And, you know, I have found that this works. Um, this is not the only time that I have found that something like that works in The Sims. So if you are ever having trouble placing something in The Sims 4, um, try undoing things that you have done that are next to whatever it is that you're trying to place. You know, maybe try removing a wall and then place the object you want to place and then put the wall back. That has worked for me so many times. So just because the game refuses to let you do what you want to do the first time, keep at it. Persistence is key and just try moving things around um, until the game will let you do what you want to do. And here I am working on the sunken living room area making a rug um, to go under the sofa and the chairs and I do have the sofa and chairs and television set at an angle and I did not put a fireplace in the sunken living room but I did build a lounge area over by the bar which you will see shortly that does have a fireplace in it um, so I did not do one in the sunken room but there you can see that I also built that little music room with the piano there so that your sims can listen um, to music <laughs> or practice their piano skills rather or listen to someone else play the piano and I also had um, a little bit of problems getting those curtains exactly where I wanted them uh, so you might have noticed that I moved the windows to place the curtains that's what you know I was talking about um, if you're having problems just remove something and then it will usually let you place what you want to place and here I am just working on the kitchen um, with the modern cabinets and there is the bar area and I also did put that round island in which I really like and putting in the bar stools and here is the fireplace area that I was telling you about earlier it's just a nice little cozy spot for your sims to sit and enjoy a drink after work <laughs> or read a book by the fireplace and you'll notice that I did put the dining table um, and see did you see how I couldn't get the curtains where I wanted so I moved the window out of the way then put the curtains in and then put the window back that's exactly what I'm talking about so if you have trouble try that <laughs> you'll usually succeed 
Um, and as I was saying, I do have the dining room table there near the front doorway. And here what I'm doing is I'm building a fountain underneath the stairs. Because, you know, we have this room underneath the staircase. Um, so why not use it to, for something that will re look really nice and be really nice and soothing for, for your Sims? <laughs> I cannot talk today. I can't think of, you know, a more relaxing sound than the sound of a fountain or waterfall. So I like to use the fountains whenever I can in the homes. Um, and, you know, I really think the open staircase with something under it is much more visually appealing than a closed-in staircase. And here I am playing with mirrors. <laughs> and now I'm back over at the fireplace area. I think this is part of the video where I just kind of jump around for room, from room to room, um, noticing things that I want to fill in with clutter. And that tends to happen when you are doing an open floor plan concept because it is like one big room and you see things across the room that you want to do so you're not really concentrating on one area the whole time. And there I've put a mirror above the bookcase um, and just filling in with some plants and some more clutter and knickknacks and things of that nature. <laughs> putting flowers and pictures on the table and the coffee table and changing my mind and redoing things. <laughs> and I do like to put a lot of plants in my homes and I also like lots of windows, which is another reason I decided not to put um, a fireplace in that sunken room because I did want to have windows all the way around that room uh, because it does have exterior walls on, all th on three sides so I wanted to make use of that um, and use the windows there and not block the light. And here I am just putting more plants in that little lounge area next to the fireplace. And I can just imagine sitting in front of that fireplace with a good book. Um, and, you know, I'd like to have a cup of hot chocolate. <laughs> um, you know, it's not legal for me to drink at the moment in the United States, so I will just stick to my hot chocolate and I will let my Sims have their martinis and things like that. <laughs> and here I am working on the downstairs bathroom, uh, putting in some lighting. And that particular light fixture, I don't know what style you would call that. It's not really modern, uh, but it doesn't look all that traditional either. And I thought it worked really well in this particular bathroom, so I did go ahead and use that. Um, and just putting in some rugs and things of that nature. Putting in towels and a little bit of clutter. And going back and working on the entryway. Like I said, with this open concept floor plan, you know, my, my mind just races as I see things that I want to do. And now you can see that I have moved to the upstairs and I am working on the master bedroom. And I am obsessed at the moment with floor patterns and making my own rugs. So that is what I have done in this particular bedroom. I have used um, a floor pattern from the Get to Work um, expansion pack to make my own rug to go underneath that bed. And I have wanted to use that particular pattern of the Mod Pod bed before, but I've never been able to find a rug that would match it, that I thought looked good under it, um, you know, other than just pure white. So I thought, you know, I will use that bed in this build and I will make my own rug. So that's exactly what I did. And I have become obsessed <laughs> with making my own rugs with floor patterns, which you will see later on in this home. I have done it again in a couple of the other rooms. I did it in the study. And I did it in the upstairs hallway, which you will see shortly. But I do like the way that uh, this rug turned out in the master bedroom. Um, I hope you all like it too. And I hope that it will inspire you all to experiment with floor patterns and make your own rugs. And um, if any of you all out there are builders, 
please let me know. I would love to see your creations. Let me know your usernames on the gallery um, and things like that. You know, maybe I'll download one of your homes and use it in one of my Let's Plays. You never know. But I do so love chatting with you all in the comments, and I love looking at other people's creations. And I hope um, that some of my creations will inspire you. And here I am just finishing up this bedroom and putting in a few plants and mirrors and things of that nature uh, before I move on to the next bedroom, which I think is now. <laughs> and this is a bedroom for two children. And they could be either girls or boys. I have put in the dollhouse and I have put in the chemistry table and the creativity table in this particular children's bedroom. Now, I wanted to put a desk in this bedroom, but they have made the dollhouse so huge. It has such a very large footprint that I could not include both the dollhouse and a desk. So I opted to go ahead and do the dollhouse, which if you do decide to download this house and you have boys instead of girls, you can always get rid of that dollhouse and put a desk where it is. But I decided to go ahead and do the dollhouse and the reason I did that is because uh, the children's sims do learn the social skill from playing with the dollhouse and this room also does have a study with a computer. So um, if your children's sims do want to practice their typing on the computer, they can do so in the study. Um, and there you can see I do have the chemistry set, which I absolutely love, that little chemistry table. I only wish that it came in more colors. And speaking of more colors, we need more furniture, EA. We need an expansion pack filled with cabinets for the kitchen and baths, filled with furniture for our living rooms and our bedrooms in lots of colors because I have built so many houses now that I feel like I have used every color of every piece of furniture in this entire um, Sims 4, plus the Get to Work expansion pack, plus the um, outdoor retreat. So please give us more EA, or give us a color wheel and a patch. That is what we really need. And here you will see I'm in the study, and I did create my own rug for this study using um, a floor tile and that little circle rug that came with the Get to Work expansion pack. And I really like how it turned out and I really like this navy blue. Um, so, you know, experiment guys. <laughs> Make things out of things that you already have, uh, be it rugs or whatever. Um, you know, we're just here to have fun. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to have fun. I hope you have fun watching my videos, and I hope you can become inspired to do your own homes and do your own builds. And there I am just putting mirrors above those white bookcases because I really think those white bookcases should have actually been a little bit taller. And there I am um, working on the master bathroom a little bit more and working on the upstairs family bath. Now, in this upstairs family bath, I do have it divided with separate toilet and shower areas so that one of your children's sims can be in the shower while the other one is in the bathroom and they will not see each other. And I also did that um, in the downstairs bathroom as well um, so that you have enough bathrooms so that your sims do not run into each other. I also did put double showers in that master bathroom as well as a separate tub. And there I am building another rug or making another rug out of floor tiles in the upstairs hallway. And I really like that one. That one reminds me of a quilt for some reason. And I did pair it with red um, uh, curtains and I thought it looked really nice with the red. And there I am just putting some pictures on the wall um, and kind of filling things out with some clutter and some plants putting more pictures. <laughs> Decided to go with two pictures there instead of making one huge. And now you can see I am working on that balcony area on the second floor, putting in the chess table, putting in a nice little seating area, 
And there, have you noticed that that table does not match those chairs no matter which color you choose? <laughs> I noticed. I noticed, EA. Um, give us things that match. When you give us new things, make sure they match. And there, I decided to put some planters on that upstairs balcony as well because this house does go all the way to the edge of this lot. Um, so there's not really room for a garden out back. I do put, put one planter out back. So I decided to go ahead and stick some planters on that balcony so that the Sims can work on their gardening skills. <laughs> and there I am playing with floor patterns again. So I guess you could actually call this the floor, the floor pattern experimentation home. <laughs> yes, you probably could call it that. Um, and here I am just putting in a little bit of landscaping in the front yard of this home. I did not go overboard with the landscaping on this home. As you saw in the backyard, there's not even any room for landscaping. Um, and I just put a little bit in the front just to dress it up a little bit. And I do really like formal landscaping um, on my Sims homes because this is the type of landscaping that I like in real life. Um, and I like for my houses to look like houses that you would actually see in real life. Now, I do not use floor plans. People have asked me, do you use a floor plan when you build your Sims homes? No, I do not. Um, the reason why I do not use a floor plan when I build my Sims homes is because they never work out spatially um, when you're trying to build from a floor plan. So all these creations do come out of my strange and wild imagination. <laughs> but um, even though I do not use floor plans, I want them to look like real homes, homes that you would see in real life. And I hope you think that they do. And I hope you enjoy these houses because I really enjoy building them and I really enjoy sharing them with you all. And now you can see uh, we are almost back around to the front elevation of this home. And in a second, we will go inside and look at the interior screenshots. So this is the view that you see when you walk through the front door. You see that lounge area and the dining table. And that is looking back toward the front door. And there is a shot of the staircase and you can kind of see the whole downstairs from there. Uh, there you can see the front, the sunken <laughs> living room and the piano area. And I'm getting tongue tied, so just don't pay attention to me. <laughs> And here we are looking from the living room back toward the staircase. Another shot of the piano area. Another shot of the lounge area. And you can see the fountain underneath the stairs. And you can see into the kitchen. And there's a shot of the bar looking into the kitchen area. Another shot of the kitchen with the round island, which I love. And this is a shot of the upstairs hallway with that quilt... Uh, pattern on the floor and this is the master bedroom with that other floor pattern and here's the master bathroom and it is so hard to take good screenshots of bathrooms here is the bedroom for the children with that huge dollhouse and here's the navy blue study with the other rug i created and now here we are back at the front exterior of the home and this does conclude this Sims 4 house building video. And I want to thank you all so very, very much for watching. I really appreciate all the support you have given me. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you would like to download this house, you can find it on the Sims 4 gallery by searching for my origin user ID, Simmer Deb. Simmer Deb is all one word with a capital S and a capital D. And thank you all again so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments down below. Please leave me a like and please subscribe. I'll see you next time.